What's up guys, Derek Swords Photo Portal. Here's a quick one for you. Today, we're talking about should you follow photography trends? If you're starting out as a photographer, you might be online often checking what other people are doing and to try to get ideas. And that is great, that is fine. I do that as well. Now, when it comes to trends, I'm talking editing style trends. If you're starting out in photography, you may be trying to find your style, how you're gonna make your pictures look, how you're gonna edit, how you're going to get that look. I had tried for years to try to get it and I finally feel like I have it. The one thing I never did was follow those trendy style edits. That's what I'm really talking about right now. Because when it comes to following a trend in a photo pose or a photography shot where people are doing these cool shots and you wanna do the same shot, I'm all for it. But when it comes to editing style, I'm talking about the color of your photography. I'm talking about the way you edit your picture. Like years ago, there was a blue an orange style edit going around. And then from there, there was the crush the green style and it was just this weird little flat green. And then you had the crush the shadows and it, the, the photos were very flat looking and soft, which was very nice as well. I never really got into those trends because the way that I think about it, because I often do contracts like maybe the wedding photography or uh, newborn shots and blah, 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 and parties and this and that. When you're doing these contracts, you may do that trend the people will be very happy because that's what's in. But the way I think about it is 10 years down the line when they're going through their album and they're showing it to somebody else, they're gonna say, what's up with all the orange and the blue? What's happening? What's with all these crushed greens? That's weird. Trends tend not to last. I find in photography, we go full circle and we come back to the start. So since the beginning, I've always kept my pictures and the way that I edit very natural. I try to make it a little bit cinematic-y-ish and for time it's like it has changed a bit i have evolved as a photographer for sure and i'm probably going to evolve again but i try to keep that basic as real as possible no ai giant skies that don't exist no colors that don't exist just what the eye can see with a little bit of tweakage in there i don't know if you get what i'm saying so years from now when people are going through their album the pictures still look good they still look real and they still look like the real world. I think that's what I'm trying to get to. When you're doing a contract, your clients may send you pictures and say, hey, I would really like to do this picture. And I have no problems with that. I, I'm, I tell them all the time, send me every example of a shot that you would like to get, that you, you know, and it could be 100% trendy, it doesn't matter. But the colors itself will stay the way that I kind of want it. And the thing is uh, to remember guys, when you, when you do that for your clients, you may not necessarily get 100% the exact shot that they want, but don't get fixated on just doing exactly what the shot is. You know, you can try that shot and then mix it up. Try a different angle, try a different solution, try a different pose in there, all mixed in with the style of the shot that they were looking for in the first place. And you might go ahead and find something that is more true to you and more true to the moment. At the same time, guys, don't take everything that I say as gold. I'm still learning. We're all still learning. Go out there and experiment. Try to get a shot exactly like somebody else. Edit exactly like another person does. Through the experimenting, you might find your style. But once you find your style, you keep working at it and you keep improving, keep working on it. Photography, you, there's a saying, something like, uh, you're only as good as your next shot. Meaning, we get better with every picture we take. Okay, so don't give up. Don't be so hard on yourself. Find your style, find you, have fun. Bring your camera, experiment, try things. And, and if you don't like it, you try again. Don't get discouraged as a photographer. Think, I'm just not as good as this person. That person that you're looking up to has been doing it for years. If you're just starting out, don't be so hard on yourself. You will get there one day. You keep working at it, put in the effort, and the results will come. So all I'm saying right now is when it comes to trends, think about it. Is it going to look good in 20 years from now? Or will this style completely disappear? That's cool with you. It's cool with me. That's it. That's pretty much it.